Hello, and today I'm trying out Cellapic. This is one that caught my eye in AppSumo, and so I thought I'd buy it and try it, and I've been playing with it for the last 30 minutes or so, and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with what it can do. So this is the dashboard. Down the bottom, you've got some tools that if you've got Canva, you're probably very used to. You've got Magic Eraser, Color Changer, things like that, where you can use AI to touch up images. But the thing that caught my eye is the way that this can generate mock-ups of your product in a particular situation. So if you have products such as glasses or rings, you can have them tried on by models, you can have apparel, you can do all sorts of different things. So let me just show you straight away what we can do. So the one I've been trying is the lifestyle scenes. And so you upload an image, give it a prompt, and this is what comes out with. And I was really impressed with this. So the original image is just of this on its own, and that allows seller pick to very easily isolate it and cut it out and then i gave it the prompt of place the ring holder on a dressing table surrounded by items a sophisticated woman would have and it uses four credits each credits gets you one image that one's not done quite so well it's, it's tried to place a ring holder on the ring holder which is a bit strange this one's pretty good and i think we have one more i've gone past it there we go Okay. And that was really good as it's added some pearls draping off. So I thought that was fantastic. As well as the lifestyle scenes, you have product spotlight. So I haven't tried this one yet. Let's see how this one does. I'm going to upload that same product again. So it's analyzing it. You can see it's taking the photo, it's cropping it, and it's going to isolate it from the background so that we have a clean image. Now recommended, let's have a little look what we've got here. So let's, let's just try this red one. Generate cost of four credits. I have tier one, which is 500 credits. So if you're only doing images, this will get you quite far. It's where you do videos where things really kick in. Now this can take a couple of minutes. You can see it's in one minute, sometimes it's two, three, four. You see down the bottom here, it's going to generate the images. It's just got the original image as a placeholder. The nice thing is we can just hop over to somewhere else and take a look. Now this one hasn't worked too well for me but it's probably the type of products. This is where you can take a model like this and replace what they have in their hand. So it sort of works but you can kind of see the bottle. I didn't get the sizing right. I think it probably would work better for bottles. That one has worked well but the actual product itself is not really the same as the one I gave it. It's, it's a little bit too different to be usable. And so we also have a virtual try on option. This is where you can take your products and have a model try them on. So you can see you can filter by different types. So they can be wearing bags, earrings, jewelry. There's all sorts and you would replace the products that they have on with your own product. The other one that I've tried, which I think is really good, is this virtual try on. You can upload a top garment and a bottom garment or it can have a one piece garment. So I'm going to upload a new garment and I'm just going to use jeans as the bottom. You could add your own there. So it's now analyzing as it did before, analyzing the image. It's going to crop it out. So there we go. It's just a simple boxy tee with meow on it. Next, we need to pick who we want. So let's go female and let's say home. It's pretty cool. age, I want an adult. So these are the options. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to pick someone who isn't wearing jeans at all. So let's just try this one. And again, this is going to cost four credits because we can get four outputs. Now this one takes a little bit longer. This is two minutes, but I can show you one I did earlier. And this was actually just a, an original image, one piece. And actually, I forgot to choose the bottoms, I just chose a one piece item and it recognized that that was a top only and put her in a matching colored skirt, which I thought was quite cool. And I think it adjusted the color a little bit too light on the first one, but then the next few all looks really good. What's very cool about this is you can then turn this these into a video. So image to video, you can download that and just use it. But I actually tried a video, so if we go to video tool, image to video, and here we go. So this was the model 
it's, it's animated it it looks really good and it doesn't have to be just the models i took a static image of a product and asked it to do a slow rotation around the product and this looks so good the person who made the product didn't realize this was an ai video and thought i'd sent them a video that they'd made of their own products so that's how good it was so that is perfect you could then use that on your website or put it on instagram uh, TikTok, whatever it is you're you're doing to promote your products it's a great way of uh, basically multiplying the amount of content you have so to make the video you'll need an image which i've had here and then you'll need a prompt so in the one you've just seen that was a slow rotation round so i've uploaded this is one of the images uh, that seller pick has generated and let's see what we can come up with so you describe what you want here and this is optional it will try and do something with the image i guess and then you've got some options down here we can do a standard render and i think it shows the cost 10 credits so 10 credits video or you can do a master render which offers superior prompt responsiveness enhanced visual appeal enhanced dynamics and that's 50 credits so on tier one you get 500 credits you could burn through that very quickly using the master render option so i'll just put it back to standard and then you've got different options in terms of the presets so lifestyle scene for example and you've got product videos as well this is pretty cool personal care apparel bag so i'll just leave it at default preset i'm going to put it creative and let's do 10 seconds and that's going to cost 15 credits so i'm not going to give it a prompt this time i just want to see what it comes up with whether it's going to have someone moving the pearls or whether it's going to have just it rotating who knows let's see what happens so we hit generate so without a prompt, this is all it did. There wasn't really much movement. You can see a little bit of movement in the liquid in the bottles, but that was it. So I reran it, You're still using standard, but this time asking for a hand to come and pick up the item. Now this was much better, but you can see it goes a little bit crazy uh, around the beads. So I then ran it again, but using the high mode, this was the most expensive. This cost 75 credits, but the result is much better. There's less of that craziness for the beads. It looks very realistic. Now it also has the option of create dubbing videos from image. So you can pick one of their existing ones to try it out. And you can pick the type of voice. So in this case, it's uh, Laura, the American accent. Our distrust is very expensive. Uh, but you've got plenty of different options. So let me just start this one again. And let's try uploading. So this is a product I reviewed a while ago. It's not a great picture, but I'm going to try and generate something where I'm saying in George's voice, the Plaud AI note taker is perfect for recording long meetings and giving brilliant AI insights. I'm not going to put a video prompt in. This is going to cost 40 credits. So it's quite a big one. Let's hit to go. Again, one to five minutes. So the thing to note is you can have several of these generating in the background, but depending on the tier, there's a set number. And I'll show you the tiers. So here's the deal. I've got tier one, $69, not a huge amount. 500 credits per month. You can see for images, it's maybe, I think it's one credit. So it's, it comes in batch of four, so four credits per pop. And then the videos, you see that's where it can go up to 40, 50 credits. So you can burn through that if you're doing a lot of video. The concurrent video generations is what I was talking about before. So I can have three of them generating at the same time, and then I would have to wait until one has finished. If you go up the tiers, you can get up to five. And it also has the ability to schedule these as posts to publish to your social media. I can do five per day, or you can have 10 or 20, and then everything else is the same. They haven't restricted any of the tools, which is brilliant. So it's really only the limits. Now, I think tier one is actually really generous and if like me you're just experimenting with it i've got a few little shops that i want to do things with tier one is going to be more than enough but if you're a heavy user if you've got you know a lot of products several shops you're going to want to consider tier two or three so that you can get these multiple videos generating get all these images generating and get them uploading to your store so now it's been a few minutes it's had time to render some of these images so let's first check out the apparel so this is the Meow t-shirt, so I wouldn't use that one because it's, it's too long and I did actually select jeans at the bottom, but I can see where the confusion is coming in because it's trying to replace uh, just a very short skirt with long jeans. It's not happened. Uh, this is better. I don't care about the jeans. It's more about the t-shirt, so that's looking pretty good. And if we go this way, again, it's, it's done a good job, I think. So we could then press image to video and generate um, a video of this model wearing the image 
So that's pretty cool. So that's worked really well. You can just download those images and upload them. Looks like there's some sort of uh, Shopify integration. I don't use Shopify, so I haven't been able to test that. So the product spotlight hasn't really done anything, uh, unfortunately. It looks like maybe the image isn't quite right. So I, I've tried it a couple of times with this image and it's not managed to put it on. It's, it's done a bit of a change there, but maybe it's the angle of the image. Maybe it needs to be straight on. I did also try, where's it? It's this one, isn't it? It's your red background. It's just not done anything for some reason. When that happens, you can provide feedback up here back to the developers, so hopefully they can improve this in future. The Plaud AI note taker is perfect for recording long meetings and giving you brilliant AI insights. <laughs> well, look, it's done it. AI really seems to struggle <laughs> with me, but there you go. If you, if you want to generate some hideous <laughs> person, <laughs> oh, that's really tickled me. Right, so um, I won't be using this myself, but, but you can see it has actually done quite a good job. I move my arm around, faces. <laughs> okay, stop. Um, well, there you go. It's done. It's it's done what it meant to do. Uh, just maybe I'm not the right picture. <laughs> So there you go. If a tool makes you laugh like that, it's got to be a good tool, hasn't it? So, so I'm enjoying this. You can see there's lots of different features. I've, I'm not showing you because I've only blasted through this in an hour just to try this out and get some images on the go. When it works, it works really well. The, the image to video stuff of the products has worked brilliantly and the model stuff could be very good as well if you want to get some different models of wearing your clothes and your items. It's just going to really expand that from the stock versions you get, especially if you're using print on demand services where they'll generate these, these uh, images for you, but then everyone's got the same models in the same poses. This offers something a little bit different. Not very expensive. I'll put an affiliate link down below. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments.